Hello everyone, welcome again to another series of video from uh, Electronic Eternity. So this is a second video of uh, GSM. So if you haven't checked out the first part, which is the GSM setup, so be sure to check that video out. So this video is just a continuation of GSM part one, where in part one we have already learned on how to set up a connection between Arduino and GSM. Right. So let's dive straight into the codes. So if you can see in the screen, I have. Uh, some simple codes which uh, allows us to communicate to GSM module by using Arduino's uh, serial monitor. Okay, so I already have my Arduino connected to the computer, but before I upload, let me just run through the codes uh, just to give you a picture on what is it about. Okay, so I'm just uh, starting Arduino serial communication. I'm uh, adding another one serial communication for the GSM and I'm just de declaring a string over here So as a part of uh, white setup, I'm just uh, initiating both uh, Serial communication at a rate of 9600. So once that is done, it's going to just uh, print uh, SIM 900 ready in the serial monitor and just going to allow a delay of uh, 100 milliseconds All right, so white setup is, is pretty basic and straightforward okay so the next one is white loop so in white loop we're gonna have uh, two while loops so uh, both of these while loop is one while loop is to check if there is anything in the serial monitor and the other is to just check if there's anything in a GSM serial monitor right sorry in GSM serials communication all right so the first one basically says when serial monitor Arduino serial monitor is empty just do nothing you stay inside the loop and do nothing so as soon as it receives something it's going to just break out of that while loop and then it's going to read what it basically says so if you notice here i'm using read string uh, instead of serial read so read string does a lot of work for you so it simplifies your job instead of using the normal read if you were to use a serial read then there's a lot of there's going to be some extra for loops to capture all the bytes of information uh, sorry all the bits of information in uh, serial monitor okay so once that is done once it captures the entire string it's going to just pass it on to the GSM uh, so and it's going to delay 100 seconds just to give GSM some response time okay so that is done now the next one is this is for GSM serial communication so for as long as uh, GSM uh, serial communication is empty that means there's nothing there it's going to just do the same thing which we saw earlier over here it's going to just stay inside that loop and just wait and do nothing all right so as soon as it uh, receives something it's going to break that while loop and then it's going to read right it's gonna read and uh, okay let me just remove this I have this uh, it's just a line formatting I'm just replacing line with with nothing so because I don't want extra lines I will show you what's the difference after this but for now just bear with me so when it captures anything in GSM uh, it's gonna just replace that with uh, with nothing it's gonna just take out extras lines and it's going to print that message in that Arduino serial monitor okay so it's going to allow delay again just to just some response time and then it's going to declare the same string to zero again just to because it's going to run the same loop again and again so I'm just clearing this uh, string all right so we have done that and now we're going to upload the code all right so i'm going to just click upload okay while while it's uploading i have an uh, in, important information to share so when you are using your gsm or uh, even at least when you're using this code i uh, find that when your gsm has already established connection to the network uh, or in other words it means that the network led is blinking three seconds once then your GSM basically responds better. There's a, 
I, I noticed when it's not connected to the network uh, it's quite unstable and it's producing some unwanted arrays of uh, responses so just check on that be sure uh, be sure if your GSM is already connected to the network before you try out this script all right even if you do your own programming I think it's very important to uh, to proceed after checking that if your GSM has already connected to the network right okay Okay, so here is the serial monitor, so we can see 7900 is ready. So I'm going to just type in 80 just to show you what it's going to produce. Okay, it gives you OK in return, so let's try 80 plus CBC. So, okay, it's giving you good values in return. So this is basically, it's, it's an 80 command for battery charge, right? So zero indicates it's not charging. Uh, which is uh, explanatory because we don't have a charging mechanism for for my GSM unless uh, if it shows one that that means it's charging at the moment so uh, 99 is basically indicating the percentage of battery and 4193 is basically the voltage so it's in millivolt so it's telling you it's 4.19 uh, it's always around 4.2 4.19 so which is a good value Right, so and it's followed by OK because I have my lines replaced. Right, so let's try another one. So I have my okay, this is the manufacturer 80 command. So it's basically return Simcom limited and then OK is just right after that. Right, so uh, like I promised, uh, I'm going to just show you what happens if I don't have this line. So I'm going to just basically comment out this part. And I'm going to upload the code again. Okay, code is done uploading. So let's see what happens. So now we have AT command. So when I enter AT, so there's some extra lines over here. So that's the difference earlier we didn't have. Okay, the same I'm going to just show you with the AT plus CBC. So you have uh, some extra lines over here and here as well. Okay, the same goes with AT plus GMI. Okay, so it creates some extra lines. So I don't want these extra lines. So in my more complicated uh, code processing, uh, this extra line is going to conflict with what I'm trying to do so which is why I've uh, created a line to replace those uh, extra lines with uh, with nothing right so it kind of helps me in my code so I just leave it to you guys to decide whether you want to use it in your program or not right so but that's just uh, one way of doing it okay so so far I've shown you uh, uh, when it comes to communicating with GSM, I've shown you a complete and a working code which allows you to communicate to your GSM by using Arduino Serial Monitor. Okay, so I have another one code which I like to show over here. Alright, so uh, this code will just give an example on how to make use of those GSM responses. Okay, so just to look at the code it's pretty much exactly the same code it's just that I have an extra if loop over here okay so the the while loop is slightly different uh, I just wanted to give show you an idea that it can also do use a uh, while loop in this manner uh, it's exactly the same thing the only difference is uh, while serial available is not equal to zero you can do the following right so I just wanted to uh, give you guys an idea that you can do this as well. It's uh, pretty much the same thing. Okay, so uh, the same two while loop. One is for Arduino serial monitor, another one is for GSM. Just that we have an extra if command over here. So what that if that does over here is whatever you get from GSM, you're gonna take and you put it on, put it in a string called GSM MSG, which is just a short form for GSM message, right? So it's gonna find okay index of basically returns a value in number right so uh, it's gonna find inside this string and if that is okay it's gonna return a value where did I find it did I find it in the first character or in the second or in the third so it's always such that it's going to be more than the first one so 
if that value is more than one that means OK is basically found right so it's going to tell you serial clean line AT command is OK okay so just to prove it I'm going to just go ahead and upload this okay let's open serial monitor so the same sim 900 ready I'm going to type in AT so it's just retaining you AT command is okay so the same with AT plus CB okay that's the wrong one All right. so you plus AT plus uh, CBC and it's going to tell you command is okay as well because there's a string okay is found in these commands responses so AT plus CGMI is basically going to be uh, produce the same output again okay so I just wanted to show you this uh, just to give you an idea on how you can make use of your GSM responses to produce uh, some message which are more human readable which which means which means something to us for example instead of just okay it's telling us that AT command is okay or the same can be used for uh, AT plus CBC command just now so you can use substring to break down those uh, output and then you can display that uh, this is the battery percentage or this is the uh, battery voltage at, as a, at a given time so it just uh, I just wanted to give you an example on how to make use of those GSM responses to produce an, an output or a message which is more meaningful okay so I hope uh, you guys have learned something from this video uh, even after this if you have any uh, questions feel free to drop your comment I'll try my very best to help you out so until then thank you good luck trying bye bye